Mario 64, no way we have to play this. What's up everybody? Welcome back to an all new episode of Complex. Today we'll be looking at an all new arcade machine, kind of, sent by ployLab.com. So if you guys wanted your own, be sure to check out their link down below in the description and big special thanks to them for sending over this product. So this here is a clamshell console that features Pandora box that has over 4,000 games. So this thing has a built-in screen, joystick, buttons, you name it. It is everything built into a single unit that you can go ahead and play literally anywhere. So today we'll be unboxing it, trying it out, and seeing exactly what it's all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So on top here, I do see it comes with this almost like carrying case. A little bag, so you can go ahead and carry your console wherever you go. See where it's gonna get kind of interesting. So we have a lot of stuff here. User manual, our power cord right over here. Uh, we have a cable to connect it to the computer, USB to USB, uh, an HDMI cable, power adapter, even comes with a controller. That's pretty cool. So this here is like a bizarre looking USB version of a PlayStation 2, 3 controller, 2. <laughs> um, a variety of extra buttons. That's kind of nice that they included that. Even a screwdriver to go ahead and fix if necessary. Anyway, so let's go ahead and take this thing out. So pretty cool clamshell. Uh, arcade cabinet, so this will go ahead and close off just like that, and then you can go ahead and open it up just like that. Um, doesn't seem too natural. I mean, just kind of does one of those, but I mean, it works, right? All right, well, there you guys have it. Hope this makes a lot of sense to you, and hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, with that being said, we'll see you guys. I'm just kidding. Uh, let's go ahead and dive right into this thing. So, you have this like almost like a arcade kind of controller setup here. Pull up screen that's got the clamshell appearance and then you have your control over here and you have your standard buttons right over here. Uh, you have your coin button, pause button, start button, select button, PlayStation home button, uh, analog control so if you're gonna go ahead and connect it to uh, I believe the controller you would click that. And then you have this battery capacity voltage screen so that's kind of interesting. Uh, you have your power ports on the back, you have buttons here on the side for power I believe. And then lastly, you have a carrying handle. So it's almost like a console slash computer system. All right, so I went ahead and plugged it in. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the screen now, just like this. And I believe the power button is here on the side, so let's press this. Oh, sweet. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, so you can see that there's actually a lot of games. So as we're kind of scrolling through it, you'll see every single game in here and now you can technically go ahead and hit right page and kind of go through all of them so you have a total of 402 pages this thing is insane amount of pages and they're all categorized by the uh, actual like category itself so you have fighting games you have like adventure games uh you can go ahead and play dreamcast games you can play sony playstation games xbox games 64 it's actually a lot i mean there's 402 pages this is insane and each one loads up on the spot, which is actually really cool in how they designed this for something this compact in size. Now, obviously, we can go all the way to the bottom just like this, and you can see that this thing just keeps going. And finally, we just cycle through all the games. Uh, obviously, these are older games, so it just kind of keeps you an idea exactly what it is. You got Tekken, you got Mortal Kombat as well. Um, you have a golden eye back this is Nintendo 64 I believe oh sweet rampage 2 <laughs> Ridge Racer Nintendo 64 man this game I gotta play this game this game brings me back oh sweet Wow, this brings back so many memories. I remember that helicopter. <laughs> ah, ah. I remember this being very difficult to play. Obviously, it's a lot more difficult playing with a joystick, but this is 
No lag at all. I'm almost shocked on how smooth this thing is running. You gotta hold this. And you just exit like that. That is pretty cool. So let's see what else we have in here. We got San Francisco Rush. Mario 64. No way we have to play this. All right, we got, this is awesome. I cannot believe that we're playing Mario 64. No way. Super Smash Bros. Oh my god, we have to see this too. I, <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm living my dream as a child all over again. <laughs> Playing Super Smash Brothers. This is so cool! <laughs> so hold start, exit, back at it again. Super Speed Racer 64. Man, this is so Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2's on here. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited to play all these games. I've always, always wanted something like this. This is insane just for the fact that you could WWF Attitude. I played that too as a kid. Right, let's look at some arcade, arcade games here. I like how it's kind of categorized. Uh, so based on you know what kind of game you're looking for. So these are all the King of Fighters. We miss up. Ninja Turtles is on here too. Sweet. Got all the Ninja Turtle games. I kind of want to play Initial D. <laughs> drift. I'm gonna find it. Drift. All right. Uh, enough of that. <laughs> Got Gran Turismo. Right, we're in a Pontiac. So this is lagging a little bit. That's surprising. But surprisingly, the graphics seem a lot smoother in this game than the original. I find that very interesting to think. In addition to that, we can also use our controller so we can control and play games just like this as if you're using an old school PS2 controller. This is really cool. So for instance, if we're just going to go ahead and try out a game here, uh, so we'll try like one of these 3D games like Mortal Kombat or uh, Tekken 5. <laughs> Man, I love Tekken. Round one. Let's see if I remember how to play this. I'll take that. The cool thing about Eddie is that he used to do uh, break dancing. There you go. Come on, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, I had him. <laughs> I have Dragon Ball Z. Let's see how this game is. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, let's quit. 
<laughs> awesome! Come on. All right, well, there you guys have it. This here is a great console. Overall, it creates a great functionality and allows you to go ahead and use it to play a variety of different games. Now, it definitely has a lot of great replay value and has a great nostalgic feel as well. Now, you get the great feedback of the controller itself that's built into the actual joystick, as well as a separate controller you can plug in the back. Now it also has a separate USB where you can go ahead and technically plug it in another controller as well as an HDMI cord so you can technically plug it into a TV as well. Now with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.